Hey guys, Fix It John here. Uh, what we'll be doing today is uh, adjusting the valves on this uh, Briggs and Stratton Intec 17 and a half uh, horsepower engine. So any of those four things, uh, hard starting, rough running, lack of power, uh, hard to pull your uh, uh, pull rope, that, that could all be uh, because of your valves uh, needing to be adjusted. So I'm going to show you how to properly adjust your uh, valves. And you'll want to do this on a cool engine. Hey guys, here's some of the tools you'll be needing uh, to do this job. I, I always use gloves so I don't get oil and grease all over my hands. But you'll need uh, this uh, gasket maker by Permatex. Uh, be sure it says fuel resistant, otherwise your uh, gasket your gasket that you made will uh, deteriorate and cause your uh, valve cover to leak oil. Uh, spark plug socket, 5.8 spark plug socket. Uh, 3/8 socket to take the cover off, 10 millimeter wrench, uh, Torx T20 external drive. You may need a rubber mallet to uh, tap on the uh, valve cover, a uh, screwdriver to pop it, uh, also some gauges. You, you need some filler gauges uh, to adjust the uh, valve lash. And I'm going to go in between, I'm, I'm gonna go uh, uh, four thousandths for the intake. I've obviously done this before. I've written it down, and uh, I'm going to go six thousandths uh, for the uh, exhaust valve. So I like these gauge these gauges here because I can take them off the uh, handle if I just want to freehand it. Uh, these are a little heavy and cumbersome, but you can also take those off and use those individually. And you can see where I've made a note to myself here where I've done it once before. This is my uh, manual to my engine and here's the specs on the uh, the valve adjustment. The intake is anywhere from three thousandths to five thousandths. I'm gonna split the difference and go four thousandths. The exhaust is uh, anywhere from five thousandths to seven thousandths and I'm gonna split the difference again there and go uh, six thousandths. Uh, that way I'm in, in, in the safe ballpark. If they wear down a little bit I'll still be good for a while. Uh, of course, uh, it does say uh, rec they recommend you to take your uh, mower to an authorized dealer. Uh, that's more money for them. But I'm here, guys, to save you money, give you confidence to do it yourself. It doesn't say it here, but it says bring uh, online the online manual. It says bring your engine to top dead center and past top dead center a quarter of an inch. So they want you to bring it to top dead center and go past it another quarter of an inch before you do do your uh, valve we adjustment. It's a uh, Intec 17 and a half horsepower, 500 cc. Uh, the first thing we'll wanna do is take the spark plug out, take the spark plug wire off, because you'll need It'll have too much pressure to eat, turn easily, so take that off. And you see how hard that pulled off? Let me show you something here real quick. Okay, you saw how hard that pulled off. I should have done this once before, but uh, because you end up rip, ripping your boot and having to get a whole new spark plug wire. Uh, you can use this, uh, for that, you can use this uh, 3M silicone paste, and all it is is a uh, uh, silicone paste. You can use it on... Uh, it comes with a little brush, but it's broken off. So I'm gonna use this uh, screwdriver here. It uh, it's good for electrical components and uh, ru rubber seals and stuff like that because it doesn't break down rubber like oil oil does. So just just stick it in there. It's uh, it conducts the electricity, so you don't have to worry about it not uh, conducting any electric but you should put this in all your spark plug boots and all that but it says on the bottle uh, lubricates prevents oxidation safe on metal rubber plastic parts for brake systems ignition systems electrical terminals rubber bushings and more so you can put that in a rubber boot and uh, next time I pull this sucker off it's just gonna come right off. I should I should have done that when I uh, did my annual uh, tune up to this thing, but I overlooked it. So, I'll take this spark plug off. I 
And one more thing I should have done to this spark plug too. Uh, let me show you that real quick. Take some anti-seize to the threads of this uh, spark plug. Only because you're screwing steel into uh, aluminum and what will happen is it will oxidize and make it hard to get off. So this goes for cars and you only need a little tiny bit. You don't need it all the way up the threads. Just put it. Okay, you want to put this rag up under this uh, valve cover here. Now we got one here, it's kind of hard to get to. I can get to it, but I probably need a swivel, but that swivel is too long. You know what I need instead of a swivel is a wobble. Let me show you the difference between a uh, uh, straight extension and a wobble. See the end, how it's beveled? What a wobble will do is, uh, allow it to put it in here and it'll wobble right there see how it wobbles that's a wobble really there it is there's a little price spot here but don't do it too much and you don't want to damage the mating surface Okay, and there's the intake. And the intake usually travels right next to the uh, intake valve. The bottom one is the intake valve, but what this one does is this tube runs through here, down below, right down here. It continues to run right there, that aluminum tube. It's part of the head. That's what sucks air in it. So you see this slack here? See this slack here? That's, that's your valve lash. When they talk about adjusting your valve lash, that is all it is right there. This is your exhaust. This push rod right here will be pushed out on the exhaust stroke and that will be pushed in, that valve will be pushed in and let the spent gases out that exhaust pipe there. When it's taking air in, this valve will be pushed in and uh, suck fuel and air, fuel, uh, fuel and air mixture into the uh, intake and into the combustion chamber. All right, guys, I got to take this pull starter off because... So that's all it is. So when I... Uh, uh, if you guys saw the uh, how to store a uh, generator long term, you know that I can use this top here to start it if the battery's dead. Or I can take the battery out of this machine if it's good. But if it's not, I can take this off this machine, this piece right here off, bolt it down to that one, and I'll have a pull starter. Listen for so, it. Hear that? That's the power stroke. That is when the uh, piston is on its way back down. And then uh, the, the next stroke will be, you won't feel any pressure, but you'll be able to see the uh, uh, exhaust valve open up. And why that'll, that'll open up to let the spent gas out of the uh, exhaust muffler. So that'll go down and then the cycle will repeat itself. It comes back up, the air, the intake valve opens back up to allow fuel and air mixture to come into the combustion chamber and at this point both valves are closed and the piston is coming up to top dead center. I'm going to pull this out so I can see if I can feel any pressure at uh, compression at the compression stroke. Yeah there it is right there. 
Hear that? That's top dead center, right there. According to uh, uh, Briggs and Stratton's uh, specs, they want you to go to top dead center and then quarter inch pass. So I would say a quarter inch pass is just over the breakover mark. Yeah. Right now we can, uh, we can adjust the uh, valves. And let's do that real quick. You want to put it uh, in between your rocker arm and your valve seat cap here. And you should, actually that feels pretty doggone tight. So your adjustment is right here. And I don't know why they put such a big uh, wrench on there. You can just use your hands, your fingers. And this is your jam nut. This is where you stop it from this bolt turning, so. Let's loosen the jam nut up and it's all it is is a Torx. Now you just want it to tug. And there's a slight tug on it right there. Hear that? That should be funny. So next thing you wanna do is hold your adjusting nut. So we want to go just a little teeny tiny bit tighter See the, uh, that's about perfect there. Now we want to hold this adjusting nut, make sure it doesn't move, and tighten this jam nut. And we'll check it again. And it's not bad. So the valve lash here is uh, 6,007 inch. I'm gonna put this ratchet on there, hold my adjusting nut, and tighten the jam nut so it doesn't loosen. Don't kill it, just snug it. There. And we'll turn the motor over and check it again after we get the bottom one. So that's, uh, that's your exhaust valve. Now we'll do the intake. And there we're setting it at 4,007 inch. The valve lash here feels a little, little loose. So we may gain a little more power tightening that valve lash up. And that'll allow more air and fuel to get into the uh, combustion chamber. So I never had really had any running issues. I mean, uh, Maybe this will give me a little more power. Hopefully, that feels pretty good there. Let's snug this up. I wanna hold the adjusting nut, make sure it doesn't turn, and tighten this Torx up, which is the jam nut. Get my ratchet on it so I can torque it a little more. There. Okay. So there's the exhaust, there's the intake, and that should be top dead center right there. The uh, compression stroke, sorry, break over right there into the power stroke, your third stroke. Quarter inch past the uh, TDC is where you want to adjust it. Anything's changed? Eh, loosen a little bit maybe. Well, I think it's good. Just on how the push rods are and yeah. So I think we're good there. That's uh, 4,007 inch. Now the exhaust stroke, the exhaust. Uh, and that's about the same too. What I'll do is I, I like to throw some paper towels around here so uh, no debris falls into the uh, valves. And I'll just clean the mating surface off here. Try to stuff it in here so nothing gets in there. All right, still cleaning her up here. Just about got it all done. Take some uh, rubbing alcohol. You can use anything, alcohol, brake cleaner, but, uh, and rub this mating surface, get it nice and clean and all the oil off of it. Then we will put it all the way around the gasket and they want you to leave it sit for a minute.
so I'll rub it around my finger. You don't want it to clog up any oil uh, passages. So now this, I think I'll just put it on here. A thin, even bead around it. Nothing gulping, nothing uh, gonna drip into the uh, valve casing. Always put the easiest, line it up with the easiest bolt holes. install my uh, rope puller so remember this is fix it John I hope this video helped you uh, and if it did uh, like and subscribe and give me a thumbs up thanks for watching